it's bird watcher eyes um i've come to do an unboxing but i completely and utterly balls it all up because i did the no no of biting the cellophane wrap then all my cords fell all over the floor and it's just a complete disaster so and because i'd already unboxed it you can't do an unboxing of an unboxing can you so it's not an unboxing anymore it's not really a review either i suppose it's just a little show really what i'm here to talk about is um i believe is that the number 80 correct me if i'm wrong but it's the quarrier deck the magician's deck i don't know even know how to pronounce that so apologies but that's the box that it comes in and it's a nice little tuck box and it's a good quality sturdy tuck box not one of those flimsy ones that you can often see so it is by Cassandra Britt Beanland, Stuart Littlejohn and Josephine McCarthy it comes with a guidebook which is a lot bigger I know it looks the same size but it's, it is bigger than the um, tuck box that's the width of it but it has a lot a lot a lot a lot of information inside it and it doesn't bore you with the pictures of the cards because then there's more room for writing or less printing so it's cheaper to print anyway it's signed by Josephine McCarthy this is the guide to the cards so there's a nice little passage there I'll just read it through to you and while I do it I will hold up a card just so that you don't have to see my boring face so tis the pattern of the gods that sets the scene but tis man or woman who decides does one leave the warmth of the hearth to once again step into the chariot or does one languish in the arms of the unraveller the grindstone will dampen thy brow with beads of sweat and stain thy face with tears. And yet the steady hand of the grindstone will guide you in wisdom to the peak of she who loves the silence. To know thyself is to know the path that must be chosen. To know those who walk silently beside you is to know paradise. That's very nice, I have to say. So at the beginning it's an introduction and basically this deck is a unique magical tool for 21st century magicians. It's not an average um, tarot or oracle, card, oracle deck, I think it's a deck in its own right, its own system of whatever magic magicians use. Um, the deck has 81 cards and everybody knows that ta traditional tarot has 78 and oracle cards have roughly about 55. So this is an 81 card deck. That's the card backs, which is the same as the book in the box. That's the thickness of it all. So that's your 81 card. So you get a lot for your money, especially when I didn't have to pay extra postage and packaging and import duties because it's based in the UK. Um, so 81 cards. And the reason why 81 was chosen is because it's a mystical number that relates to completion and it is divided into four realms you've got the divine realm which has red borders so this card's from the divine realm then you have the physical world which has green borders you have let's pick another and you have the inner realm which has blue borders and finally you've got the realm of death and the underworld which is so aptly colored in black if i can find one where are they Okay, that's an example of the realm of death and the underworld. So the magician's deck is not based on any tarot system, which is quite obvious when you look through the cards, but rather it draws on the mythic 
mystical and magical powers that underpin the magical systems from which tarot eventually developed. It is based on real inner realms, real inner contacts and beings and forces that the practitioner of magic is very likely to involve themselves with. Because of this approach, the deck works as a contacted deck, i.e. used magically, the images can act as gateways to inner realms, inner beings and magic patterns. And that's interesting that, because when I first saw this card, I was blown away by it. And I just thought you can lose yourself and you can pretend that you're inside this this place where this card is and you can just step inside the card and magically transform yourself in it. It's absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of, um, what's that series called? Mr. Uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. How they used to go into the mirrors and transport themselves into other realms. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is. It is not a deck for casual tarot readers. Rather, it is a deck specifically designed for magical students, practitioners, workers and adepts working within the broad spectrum of Western magic. It can be used for magical divination or as a direct connection to inner contacts, as gateways for meditation. Magical visionary work, soul exploration or contacted ritual work. So they've moved away from the relatively modern use of set names for the beings in the images. Instead, they've reverted to a very ancient way of presenting inner beings. We name them according to what they do. This way there is no ambiguity about what is actually what what a being actually is. So magicians from most magical systems will recognise many, if not all, the beings in this deck. I don't recognise any of them because I'm not a magician. But I'm going to learn about them. Definitely. So each chapter, there's about five chapters in the book. You've got a chapter dedicated to each realm. So chapter one, the divine realm, and it goes through the meanings of the cards. And it's very, very interesting to read. You've got chapter two, which is the next realm. And it goes through the cards. And then each realm, blah, 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 blah. And then at the end, you have a section called layout. And they suggest a way that you can lay the cards out. So there's a full chapter on that. And then at the back, there's a natural picture of the layout. So it looks a very interesting deck to play with and find out about. When I say play, I mean loosely, because I don't know anything about this deck. I don't know how it works. So you play with it to start with until you get to know what it is all about. So as I said before, the card backs are such. I'm going to just flip through it quickly. Not all of them, uh, some of them. Um, because you, you know there's 81 cards and you want to see some for yourself anyway so we've got I'll just flip through there's no point in telling you what they are because it's self-explanatory that's the occultist I wondered what that one was like then I'll just flip through some you got foundation you have regenerator you've got bailiff let me just flip, so this is one of my favourites, Home and Hearth. It's got a little cat in it, I love it. And it looks like just where I want to live. Gorgeous. And then this is another one I like, Mother Earth 10. They're so gorgeous, I love Weeping Willows. Then it's multicultural as well. It looks like they're getting married. And then you've got the idiot. But is he an idiot? Or is he just pretending to be an idiot? I like this one. The Elder. 
there and we've got Staff of the Gods. I'm just picking a few as I go. I don't want to show them all. That one reminds me of Pan. I like Pan. Um, there's a film called Pan's Labyrinth as well. A little Spanish film that's really, really nice. And that's an example of a death card. It's the only card that's narrow, by the way, in its picture. And then there was a bit of nudity. Then we've got this place of healing is nice. That's a portal that you can just lose yourself in as well. And then we've got, there's a lot of wings as well involved in this deck, I've noticed. A lot of wings in the artwork. I'm not going to show them all because I don't want to ruin it. Um, let me just see. I like that one because it reminds me of the phoenix. It also reminds me a little bit about the parting of the waved. The mystic. Communication, which part talking of parting of the waves. We've got Egypt. And... That's nice. River of Dreams. No, I'm not going to show you that one. Keeper of the Abyss. It's absolutely gorgeous. Blue colours, but I'm not going to show you it because I don't want to ruin it. But it's got a gorgeous picture of a woman and it's got gorgeous blue colouring on it. Then we have Temple of Ancestors. That is also absolutely gorgeous. It's a lovely water fountain. And then we've got Spirit Guide and I'm going to have to show you that one. That reminds me of Franz Mark when he does all the paintings of horses. Oh, that's beautiful. Wheel of Fate. That is really, really interesting. Oh, it's beautiful, actually. It's very interesting. I'm going to not show you that one. I'd like you to see that one. I like that one. Abyss, that reminds me a bit of Game of Thrones, that one. In a temple, chariot, my card, my star sign card. That's interesting as well. The horses, that's pretty cool. Sun, that is a lovely one. I like the moon. The moon is really nice. The moon is gorgeous as well. It's got water in it. Very nice. And the magical temple, which I've shown you already. So, I like them. I think they're really nice. And I like the fact that it's not a traditional deck and it invites you to read about it and learn about the different characters in. I mean, it, the fact that it says if you're a magician, you'll be aware of all these characters. I know Pan. That's about the only one I know. So, yes... I'm gonna, definitely going to um, look at the spread at the back and I'm going to read through the book and work out who the, who the people are in the cards. But definitely, um, if, you, if you're not interested in something that's not a traditional tarot deck, or you know, then it's not for you. But if you are interested in that aspect, the magi magical aspect of cards, and you want to learn a different system, then... It's a very good indeed. So it's the Magician's Deck. Apologies for not being able to pronounce the stuff above it. But I would recommend it. And maybe I'll say later on when I've used it. I'm very busy at the moment doing a PhD and nursing and being a mum. But I don't have time to do many card cardy stuff. But if I do have time to flip through it. I'll perhaps talk about it later, but no doubt loads of other people on YouTube have done it anyway. So um, that's it for me. Thank you for listening and goodbye.